How you doing guys? This is Joe with LVV. We're at a uh, at a furnace call and the high limit right there, the auxiliary high limit, which is four flashes on this machine, shows that the high limit is uh, is opening up. Now, you'll get flashes off that red LED right there. And then on the back of one of the uh, on the back of one of the doors we'll have It'll say one, two, three, four flashes, open limit switch, okay? So auxiliary limit, we'll talk about auxiliary limit. That's the main auxiliary, okay? Right underneath the heat exchanger. So if that opens up because of improper airflow or a clogged filter um, or a bad fan motor not spinning fast enough, then that's what's going to pop, Okay. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna check the capacitor. Now, if it doesn't have the capacitance of 10 UF, that means that this fan is probably not, it's probably not spinning at the uh, proper CFM. Okay, it's not giving the, C, the proper C, CFM to go through, straight up into, through, the, uh, through the heat exchanger, and then that's gonna be popping right there, the, that auxiliary. So when we just put this on, okay, so we're on MFD. All right, when I was just starting out, I never knew what to do, how to test them and everything like that. So MFD on your meter. If you're going to be an HVAC guy, you need to get this specific type of meter, okay? This is an older meter, but it's the, C, the SC77 from Field Piece. It's really good. This is how you test microfarads, okay? That's what you're going to do for any type of capacitor. You're going to take the, you can take the wires off, go in between one and the other. Right there, you see that? And then it's going to show you 1.9 1.9 is not 10 all right so anything within a five percent uh tolerance is okay all right which uh 10 a 10 percent tolerance will be be 0.1 so it's way off this is no good we're going to change this out hopefully that motor is going to ramp up to 100 percent, and then it won't pop anymore okay and this will this will uh stay cl uh, stay closed this is an normally closed circuit Gets too hot, opens right up. So um, we're gonna change this out and then we'll take a look and make sure everything is running fine. So we got a good stream of the flame going through the distributors. We looked at the flame sensor, you know, it's good just because we're here for a call anyway. Um, looks like it was just that capacitor. Okay, a slow, I don't want to say a slow capacitor, uh, I was going to say a slow fan. A slow fan can be due to a bad capacitor, all right? It's called a split capacitor for a reason, okay? The, uh, I'm sorry. A split, uh, a, 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 a PSC motor, permanently split capacitor motor. That capacitor has to be in line with the voltage of that, of that fan because it needs it to help juice up the electricity. It gets it started, keeps it going. That uh, that motor will get really hot with a bad capacitor. If, the, if that capacitor is semi good, semi bad, it'll try to go, and it'll it will spin, but it won't spin at the velocity that it needs to, and then it'll be kicking off. So uh, sometimes the fan motor will kick it out. So the fan motor is the problem, and that will be putting pressure on the uh, capacitor. In this case, the motor seems to be fine. It's just probably an old, because this is an old unit. And uh, it's probably just an old capacitor that needs, to, that needs to be changed out. So what we're gonna do though, my guy's going to the, uh, he's going to the, um, he's going to the truck right now. And we're gonna put our temperature gauge, our thermal probe right inside here. And uh, to see exactly the temperature that's coming out. So we'll test that right now. We'll show you how we're doing that as well. And as long as this fan is giving, is keeping the uh, is keeping the air flowing properly, it's not going to hit. You see right there, that's the, the box, that's that switch. That switch has a number on it. That switch, that number is probably 130, or 140, or whatever it is, so it doesn't get too hot. So as long as the air flow is good, that's not going to pop, and we'll be all set. So this is, we put a temperature probe right here. This is right after the coil. We're gonna do another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it out over there at the box and put the probe in there as well. But because it did shut off again. So, let me take a look. Let's 
So right now the temperature is 135. Okay, and then it shut off. It shut off right when this was about 140. So we're going to see. It's just a weak auxiliary. I don't think there's any filters in there. Maybe take a little bit of it. So if this thing shuts off and it's 137, I'm going to do it one more time at the auxiliary. I'm going to take this probe here, pull the auxiliary, stick it in there, and re-put the auxiliary back. If that's a weak auxiliary, then what we're going to do is we will change out that auxiliary. Because it, it might have been shutting off on and off, on and off, on and off. And that might have gotten weak. So, yeah. so if that's the case, if this is weak here, then we have to change that out. Because that shouldn't be popping until 210. I'm not sure if you can see it. See it says it right there? It says 210 minus 30. So if this thing shuts off prior, before 210, that means we have a weak auxiliary. As long as the temperature is below 210, that thing should, should, shouldn't be shutting off. Right now we're at 140 up here. I'm gonna do it again down here to make sure, because I'm sure it's hotter down there. But I wanna make sure that, uh, I wanna make sure that the auxiliary is not popping for sure. And now we still have a flame. I'll keep you guys in the loop, I'll let you guys know what we're So we're pulling the main auxiliary out. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Power's off. All right. This is the main auxiliary. It's got a little neck that sticks into the heat exchanger. Okay. So we're gonna get this back in here. We're gonna take our probe. Hold that for me. And we're gonna stick the probe in with it. Like so. And screw everything back so I get an accurate temperature reading. It didn't shut off. We, we manually shut this thing off, so. It might just be a weak, a weak sensor. If it is, we're gonna change that sensor out. Okay. Okay, as you see though, with, with the fan off, it's at 159. So we'll see how, how, how this is going. It's, it's going to drop back down real quick. So the inducer kicks on at stage one. That's the first part of uh, we're going to have it get rid of any of the fuel gases. Step two is the igniter. Step three will be the flame sensor. And then step four is going to be back to the blowing mode. So there's always like a 30 second purge. Now you got the glow. Now you got the flame. That flame sensor's right here, sensing the flame. It's telling the gas valve to stay on in about probably 15 seconds and get the uh, blow to go on. Now this will rise because the blow mower is not on right now. Okay, so it's gonna get hot, hot real fast. That's why the blower should needs to kick on right away. Let's go any day now. Oh, look at that. It's it is above what it's supposed to be, but that, that, that should drop down pretty quick. Now there's, now there's cooler air dri driving over it. Let's go. We gotta drop down because 210 is the limit. Shut off sooner or later. Alright, so we got our probe, we fed it right through the, through the top. Before we, we fed it to the side and we dipped it down too much, we were getting like 200 to 220 degrees. It was too much. So now we put it right on top, fed it right over that little that little neck, and it's where it's actually sensing. Okay, so now it's sensing at about 150, 60. We're going to keep an eye on this and see if it goes over that 200. If this shuts off before 200, then we got a weak sensor over here. All right, so we're going to keep an eye, an eye on it, see what's going on. Seems like it's kind of popping up and then back down. So the level's off at 160. We're going to stay here for about 5, 10 minutes, make sure this machine doesn't shut off. It did shut off on us once before. So probably it'd be nice for us to change this. I think this is probably what's going on. 
especially that this is not going over 160 now. And if it doesn't go over 210, it shouldn't shut down. All right, guys, so we just swapped out the old for the new. Same parameters. I'm going to get this inside. Right there. Just hold that chair. So it fits right in. Disc facing down, guys. We'll get the bottom one there too, and we'll be all set. Alright, guys, so we're going to do what's really high level switch to install. It goes for like 10 minutes. It's going to be fine. I'm going to shut it off. If you guys like the channel, just, if you guys like it, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.